Hi, I'm Jan. Welcome to the Save Money and More channel with Jan. And I am Jan. Nice to meet you. Hope everybody's doing well. Thank you for coming back for those who've been here before. And if you're brand new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. And today's a very special day because I am doing a collab with Sensible Living with Money Mom channel. Dawn, how are you? The two of us, we're going to talk about this today. We're going to talk about seven items that we kind of sort of don't get anymore, whether it's from the grocery store or elsewhere. So we're going to begin with that. But I would like to remind you to please head on over as soon as you're finished with this video to the Sensible Living with Money Mom show. She has been around for so long, has such wonderful videos, and it's been my honor to have become friends with Dawn over the last few years. And I'll never forget that. She's just an amazing, fantastic person. But we do have something we'd like to share. Okay. All right. So seven items that at this moment in time, I'm not going to buy at the grocery store. And yes, I have my trusty notebook. <laughs> Hope you don't mind. Number one, ground coffee. Oh, yeah. Wait, don't you like coffee? I do. I love coffee but I also don't love to spend a lot of money on coffee. I'm kind of frugal. That's why I have a frugal channel, but there's nothing wrong with ground coffee. I'm just not going to buy it exclusively. I personally prefer the flavor of instant coffee. Many people do not, but I just happen to. So I mainly would get and stockpile on instant coffee, but I do keep ground coffee for company and brew that coffee for those that want it but I don't buy it as the mainstay coffee. So in its place, I do get instant coffee and not ground coffee often. If I buy a can of that, it's not that often, but what I do is I keep it in my freezer to keep it as maximally fresh as possible. Next, frozen lasagna entrees. There's nothing wrong with them. They're just expensive, okay? They taste great. And I used to buy them on the regular basis, if you will. But what I discovered a while back that I could do the easier version of lasagna and do baked ziti, for example, I'll make a whole bunch of that. It's so easy to assemble. I make a whole bunch of that and put them in my own single serve type trays and I freeze them. And on those very busy nights, all I do is pop them in the oven for like 30 minutes. It is so worth it. Because one of those entrees today, the regular one from the grocery store, is close to 5 or $6. For $9, I could get a ton of all of those entrees. And I know what's in it because I made it. Next, pre-made graham cracker crust. Nothing wrong with them. They're delicious. They're great. But many times I might happen to have graham crackers at home. And I'll take one of those individual packages and I'll just make my own. So for me, it's not necessary to have to buy those crusts. If I want to, I will, but most of the time I don't because I could easily make it. So that's some of the stuff that I don't buy as often. Next, pre-packed shredded cheese, you know, like shredded mozzarella, shredded cheddar, things of that nature. To be honest with you, if you shred it yourself, it tastes way better than the kind that's already pre-shredded. Don't get me wrong. That is convenient. I get that. But it doesn't taste nearly as good as the one that you just take that extra minute and give it a shred on your own. But do keep a couple of those if you do enjoy the uh, convenience of the pre-packed and if you get a great price on it. Next, frozen French fries. Uh -uh. Since I use my air fryer a lot, for me to just cut up a natural potato... And then just use a little bit of nonstick spray and season it up. Throw it in the air fryer for a few minutes. I am done. It is delicious. It is good. I have no problem with that. No extra grease being used. No extra oils being used. And it's just way more convenient. And actually kind of healthier because it's fresh. Uh, next, tons and tons of rice. Like, I don't personally need to have tons and tons of rice. Rice is a great thing to have. And of course, brown rice does not keep as long as white rice. I do get rice, but not that much of it. Again, people have to tailor make 
their stockpile and things of that nature according to their individual family. Let's say you have a, a husband or a child that's not interested in a certain item of food and you don't really care for it. There's no purpose in stockpiling it, a lot of it, or any of it sometimes, because that's not a sale. Even if it's on sale, it's not a sale. So you're wasting your money in a case like that. Um, next, pre-made banana breads, uh, uh, banana muffins. Today, a banana muffin is a huge thing. And if you go out to the grocery store today and buy a pre-done banana muffin, they are like, you could feed like four people on those. But to me, they don't taste nearly as good as a homemade banana bread and a homemade or slash a homemade banana muffin. That's how it feels for me. So I don't really anymore purchase pre-made banana breads on the outside when I could easily make them at home. And to me, it is a wonderful, special, lovely treat. I want to thank everyone for being here. And I want to thank you too, Dawn, for this collab. It's always a pleasure doing a collab with you. And more importantly, also just knowing you as a friend. You are a great person. You live up to your expectations. If you've never been to that channel, I strongly suggest you're going to get lots of wonderful tips and tricks. Talking about frugality and so much more, actually. You're going to see a wide variety of wonderful subject matter. And thanks for being here. I really appreciate every single one of you. Have a great day.